Yo, YouTube, what's going on? I'm back again. About to share my thoughts, you know, like I usually do. Today I want to talk about something I call, well, people I call prisoners to pleasure. Can't help themselves if they wanted to. That just basically ties in today, modern day, how everything is so convenient and easy to do and it's easy to take the 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 less the the path of less resistance and just just shit like that man it's it's really upsetting to me only reason because is it still created a, a, a society and culture at least within the u.s of people who take always doing things so easy so easy taking the easy route to do everything and it's, it's very upsetting. And I see it within my my social circle. Even people I'm not necessarily friends with, I see it in their lives and it's just affecting a lot of people altogether. And it's just, I'll explain what I mean. So basically, instead of people getting up and going out and getting groceries and cooking, motherfuckers rather door dash some food and sit on a fat ass at home and watch TV. And don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with enjoying TV every now and then. But you really have to look at it within the scope of what you're doing. So lazy. And you enjoy pleasure so much. You won't get up. And go to the kitchen and fix you something to eat. You're going to sit on your ass. And order some food to the house. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I got friends or friends, associates complaining about how life sucks and shit like that. Every time I talk to these dudes, they in the house playing the game. Nigga, life, of course life sucks. You don't have, you don't experience it. You don't, you don't know what it's like. You, you on a virtual game 24 seven, not leaving the crib. Of course your life sucks. You laying in bed, on Instagram scrolling, of course your life sucks. Your life sucks because that is that is your portion. Because you won't get off your ass and do anything else. And I don't subscribe to that mindset, you know. Don't get me wrong, life is hard, you know. Especially in modern day times as a young man, life is very hard. Nobody gives a damn about you. Everything's expensive. And you gotta fight tooth and nail to get any type of respect or admiration life is hard but that don't mean you sit on your ass and just be a, a, a damn zombie and this is the shit i'm talking about a, a prisoner to pleasure you know you the dudes rather sit on the ass scroll instagram get on pornhub you out here watching other people have sex when you could get off your ass, hit that gym, and get right, and then you could be having sex instead of watching two random strangers do that. And the part that upsets me the most is when you call out this behavior and you don't subscribe to it, you don't do none of that foolishness, they want to call you weird. I'm weird because I don't watch porn. I don't masturbate. I'm not trying to brag or anything like that, but I mean, that's like, like, bro, I'm the weird one because I don't do that. No, nigga, you're weird. You know, you're weird, bro. Watching two people sleep together and you, and you touching yourself to that. Nigga, you're the weird one. But I'm just like, it's just like people so damn addicted to pleasure and not just pleasure, but simple pleasure. Like, oh, instead of trying to go out and talk to a girl or get strong or just, you know, better myself, I'ma just get on the internet and watch people have sex for free. And that's, then I have no incentive to get up and do anything. Because as soon as I get off Pornhub, guess what they get on? PlayStation. And guess what they do while they on a PlayStation? Guess what app they open up next? DoorDash. Motherfucker ain't gotta get up to do nothing. You don't got to get up to eat. 
be entertained or try to get some ass. So of course, what are they gonna do? Lay there all day, just become a husk, a shell of their former self. And one thing I'm gonna say is, you gotta look at it why these things are free. Why is Pornhub free? Why is Instagram free? Why are all these social media apps and all this nonsense free? Why is it free? Nothing is free in this world. So why are these things free? It's because exactly like I said, they're not free. You're the product. You are the product. You are how they're making their money. And one thing I know about these corporations, do you think they have any morals, any moral standards or any moral law they follow? No. And these are wicked, evil people who will make a dollar off of your human nature easily. And they have no regrets. None. And a lot of people are feeding into it. If I had one, one singular wish, it would be that social media, all the good that it has, all the good that it causes... It's still outweighed by the negative effects on society. And if I had one wish, it would be that social media disappeared for three years. Let people recalibrate, get their mind right. Remember that we're human beings. We have to actually socialize. It also eliminate a lot of this delusion and grandeur of what people have of their own lives. Motherfuckers popular on Instagram think they a real life celebrity. Motherfuckers popular on Instagram think they can't get touched in real life you know it's this shit is crazy like bradley martin getting online talking about oh mighty mouse can't fuck with me i'm 260 what man he'll damn near beat you to death but since you got a following on instagram and social media you think you could you could you could hang with him and that's that dumb ass shit i'd be talking about this nigga's an idiot but since he got a large following on, on social media, he think he can hang with one of the best UFC fighters to ever, to ever fight. We got to get right, man. We got to get right. Motherfuckers so addicted to this pleasure and this so, and this this fake shit that it's changing who they are. I ain't gonna say no names, but I got a dude I went to high school with, stellar athlete, and he was a um. A student he was a very he was a very smart guy you know he was on top of his stuff on point man instagram recommended me his page a while back i don't got all i just made a new instagram and i'm already off of it already the shit is ass it's so it's too su superficial but they recommended his page before i got off of it nigga want to be a street nigga now got gold teeth you know, he got guns in his photos. Bro, we know you don't come from that. That's not you. We see right through you, nigga. Like, you think you think you fooling somebody? And I'm saying, he putting on in hopes of flexing for... You already know what he putting on for, for them, for, man, for the females. And this fake shit and this pleasure shit gotta stop, bro. Boy, I can't wait till this... I, I really hope i really hope the internet not the internet but social media just have an outage like a power outage like instagram headquarters just have a power outage snapchat facebook all of them shits man twitter especially twitter man it would be amazing if these shits had like an outage and people had to look up from the phone like oh, i'm in real life now oh. that would be lovely if people had to look up from their phone, get off their fat ass, and go out into this real world and see what the fuck going on. Well, that would be amazing. That would be awesome. People would snap back to reality real quick. You know what I'm saying? And it would, it would be the greatest thing. Because now everyone who's been fucking off and doing stupid shit and wasting time and not being productive and not being on point with shit and, and just living a life for this fake grandeur, they will now be held accountable for all of the time they've wasted. They'll be held accountable 
for the fake personas they've placed on the internet because now you have to really back that up in real life you will be held accountable immediately because it's real out here and it's only got to get a lot realer too it's gonna get wicked Y'all already seen what happened last year, 2023. It was a every every damn day we woke up is a new headline, and that was that was tame. This year, shit finna get cracking, man. And I'm just putting this video online so the motherfuckers kind of like, I'm not trying to fear monger or scare anybody, but I'm just trying to get the message out. It's time to stop being a prisoner to your pleasures. As always. Got a counter argument, leave it in the comments. Outside of that, peace.